Welcome back to the channel. It's Magnum Madness Part 6, and in today's video we're comparing two cartridges that no one's ever asked to be compared. But here we are. We're going to compare the 65300 Weatherby Magnum to the 270 Winchester. So a little backstory to this series is that you guys picked 16 Magnum-like cartridges, and then I am doing a showdown and you guys get to pick eventually one winner. And so that's kind of how the 65300 and the 270 are against each other. But let's go ahead and look at the ballistics and a little bit about the history and then remember to please vote for one to move on. In 2016, Weatherby finally decided to make a 65 cartridge. And of course, in Weatherby fashion, they had to make the fastest 65 cartridge on the market. So in front of me is a 300 Weatherby Magnum. Now I apologize, I don't have a 65300 Weatherby, but the 65300 Weatherby's parent case is this one. And so what they did was they used this case and necked it up to 65. So this is a 65 Creedmoor. So a 65300 is shooting these small, really high BC bullets. And they shoot them at ridiculous velocities. Let me go ahead and show you the velocities. In front of me is all of the factory ammo offered from Weatherby for the 65300 Weatherby. And with the 65 cartridges, most people when hunting are going to shoot anywhere from a 127 grain bullet up to uh, around the 156 grain. Uh, most people, though, really like the 140 for its high BC and good velocity. Uh, but with the 6x300, I know a lot of people love the 127 LRX. And look at the muzzle velocity, 3531. Just ridiculous numbers. Uh, a bullet that I think is interesting to me is the 130 grain Sirocco. It's going almost 3,500 feet per second. So doing the ballistics on this 130 grain bullet, it is technically the flattest shooting cartridge in factory form. So with factory ammo and with the factory rifle, it is the flattest cartridge on the planet with this 130 grain bullet. Pretty incredible. Uh, so at a thousand yards, this cartridge only drops 190 inches when you sight it in at 100 or zero at it at 100. For reference, the very popular flat shooting 7mm rem mag has 256 inches of drop at 1,000 yards. So the 65300 Weatherby has it beat by over 60 inches. So yeah, this thing is ridiculously flat shooting. Wow. So you're going to see 3,500 foot-pounds, 3,400 foot-pounds at the muzzle. This thing is plenty powerful. In fact, it's more powerful than a 7mm rem mag. The classic 270 Winchester. Introduced in 1925, this cartridge is basically a 30-06 or 303 uh, necked up to 277. And it gives you relatively flat shooting. So the bullet selection that most hunters use this cartridge in is 130 up to 150. And let me just go ahead and show you real quick the velocities you can get with this. A 130 grain is a very popular bullet for hunting. And you can get it well over 3,100 feet per second. Uh, which, which again, makes it pretty flat. Uh, there's also the 140 grain bullet, which you can get going over 3,000 feet per second. And probably the biggest bullet that most 270 hunters will shoot out of this, because of the limitations on the twist rate, is the 150, and it's going 2,900 feet per second. Now, I know the 270 Winchester is not a Magnum, but I let you guys, the viewers, vote on which cartridges you wanted in this and the 270 made it through so here we are with the 270 and 
it is still a top 10 selling hunting cartridge in the nation. Despite what Alaskan Ballistics says about it, uh, it is still a very viable hunting cartridge. Now, yes, the versatility isn't great on it, but I think this is the ultimate deer hunting cartridge. And what is the most popular big game animal that people hunt in the U.S.? It's deer. So I don't see this cartridge ever going away. And yes, it's not the most ultimate long range distance cartridge, but it's a very good hunting cartridge. Now I want to talk about the advantages each of these cartridges have over each other. So let's first start with the 270 Winchester. One thing that comes to mind is it's going to have less recoil than 65300. Now the difference isn't going to be that much. You're going to see like the 270 shooting, you know, it's going to be around 17 pounds of recoil while the 65300 is like 21, 22. So it's not a huge difference, but it's still there. And then the barrel life. You know, the 6.5 probably has one of the shortest barrel life in any factory cartridge. But if you use it as a hunting rifle, both of these are going to last quite a bit. But if you're shooting it recreationally, the 270 is going to last quite a bit longer. And lastly, and maybe one of the more important ones, is the cost. The 270 is made in all sorts of rifles. There's a great selection. And the ammo cost is much less and it's actually available compared to the 65300 factory ammo. So that's a pretty big one. Now let's talk about the advantages the 65300 Weatherby has over the 270. Number one is bragging rights. You know, the 270 isn't the flattest shooting cartridge in the world. And the 65300 is faster than a 26 nozzler. It's shooting these high BC 6.5 bullets at ridiculous velocities. It's, it's just something that you can brag about. Next one is the fun factor. You know, you're shooting these high BC bullets really fast. It's really flat. And the recoil is relatively not bad for a Magnum. Lastly is the 65300 is just a better big game cartridge than the 270. You're going to get a lot more power, it's a flatter cartridge, and it's going to have better energy downrange. So it usually will be 300 to 400 feet per second faster than a 270 Winchester with the same bullets.